Hello there viewers and welcome to another tutorial study on Design Genius. On the keyboard today it is Neva Cornell and we will be looking how to carry out a simulation study on an assembly. Right before us we have a modified version of the Kozia Vivaro which we have carried out some modification on it and we have what is right in front of us. Looking at a wheelbarrow, we have here highlighted the tree, we have the view, we have the support, we have the hand grip. Knowing fully well that a wheelbarrow is a hand prepared vehicle, before carrying out uh, or before realizing such a prototype, it is very necessary that we have to carry out some strength of materials to this. And uh, one of the main particularity or one of the things that we have uh, changed with this fibaro is that we have used a single tube which serves as the hand grip right through as the main support and right through as the front brace. So now before going directly to uh, our studies, I would like to highlight the sub assembly that we are going to carry out a simulation study on it and here we have the axle which carries the view and it is being guided in rotation by our two bearings so right away i'll be taking you directly to our axle bearing assembly where we are going to carry out a simulation study so right in front of us dear viewers we have an axle bearing assembly and we'll be taking you right away to a new static study where we'll be carrying out a simulation now we already have a solidworks simulation and we'll go directly to the new study tool where we click on it and we take new study and right away we have uh, the different types of study available we have a static study the frequency thermal study static study so we are going to carry out a static study and we can give a name to our study so we can just add static for app zoo and we can click ok we validated it and solely work test me the character invalid character in study name so let's try to change the name cancel for static axle and we take validate it is ok and uh, to always start a uh, simulation study the very first thing we need to do is to move over to parts where we have parts and at this level we are going to carry out material assignment to the various parts available in our study so now in a case where we have various parts and each of these parts has uh, different types of material we are going to click here and we assign different types of material to the different parts available in our assembly but in our case we are going to assign a single type of material to the various parts that are existing so we simply right click on parts we take apply material to all and we are going to have a window where solely will propose to us the different types of material and we are going to simply choose the type of material we are going to use to carry out this study and in this uh, case we can choose steel and we can take uh, 10 20 here we have uh, the properties the values we can see for example elastic modulus mass density we click apply and we take close and after uh, assigning a particular material to our assembly the next thing we got to do we move directly to fixtures where we right click on fixtures and we take fixed geometry and away from that we have other types we have a fixed hinge we have bearing fixture but we are going to work with fixed geometry and here we are going to choose the areas that we consider fixed during this study so I'm going to choose my two bearings and I'm going to validate the choice. Now, one thing I always like to do, I always like to hide all these fixtures by simply 
click right clicking on fixtures and clicking on hide now after uh, assigning a particular type of fixtures on our uh, assembly the very next thing we need to do is to uh, move to external load where we right click and apply a particular load or a force on our assembly diagram so in our case we are going to work with force and the force we can give a particular force let's give it 4000 newton and we can choose equally choose the area where these forces will be applied and in this our case we are going to apply our forces on the shoulder which receive the wheel we right click on it and we validate so as usual i will click on our height the arrows so at this point in time dear viewers we are going to move directly to matching but before moving to matching one thing we always need to take into consideration is that the solid work always uh, has as global settings global contact bonded so up at the level of connection advisor and we are going to move to contact set where we can change this uh, default settings into what we will please us to use or into what we will be able to suit the type of assembly we have right in front of us here you have manually select contact set and you have automatically find contact set so we are going to click on automatically find contact set and so what is going to do it for us we simply select the different types of contacts with the various parts we have in assembly and we click on find contact set and it will be done automatically so we already have two uh, contact sets in our assembly and now we can decide to click on uh, bonded no penetration or allow penetration so in this uh, case of study i'll take allow penetration and i'll validate and i'll take yes so now we can move directly into matching by simply right clicking on matching taking create match and here also there are also parameters that we can adjust depending the type of assembly or the type of study we want to run but in this our own case we are going to allow everything at the level of default settings and we click ok and now we can run our matching and after the matching we are going to have these changes so after carrying out the matching now the very next thing we need to do we need to move directly up here to the run this study tool and we click on it to run our study Dear viewers, it is worth noting that carrying out uh, analysis with no penetration contact, SolidWork will monitor the contact. SolidWork will monitor uh, the contact between the faces, and they may be separated from each other depending on the type of load. So, dear viewers, we already have a result here, and we are going to be looking straight to the different type, or better still, we are going to be analyzing our result. First of all, we have the stress, the von Mises plot, and we have we can see a variation of color from red, yellow, green, right down to blue, and this we can also equally see this on our uh, assembly, and now we can see that the concentration is more at the level where we applied our forces, and we can decide to exaggerate a result a bit so we can see clearly see the variation or the displacement we take ok and we can right click on straight and we click on animate to animate our results so we can clearly see the variation and we can do same for our displacement when we click on displacement we, we have the URS plot and we can see the area we read showing the area with more concentration and we can see a variation of color from red to yellow green and blue at the level of the bearings 
you can as well carry out animation to see the variation or the displacement click ok and we right click on displacement and go straight to animation when we right click and click on animation this is what we are going to have so we can clearly see the displacement and the variation of the color from the point of application of forces right to our various bearings and we can do same for the string so one other thing we can do when we have such result we can carry out a generation or report generation by simply uh, clicking on report where we have designer's name company name address phone number logo so here we take designer's name right neighbor company name we are going to enter design genes have design genius and we are going to take publish here solidwork is going to export all the results we have and it will present them on a word document where we have the details that's everything g2 the type of calculation the forces all our results and it is worth noting that SOLIDWORKS is a very important tool when it comes to designing or when it comes to carrying out studies because we cannot go directly into fabrication without carrying out such studies because carrying out such studies on a prototype it helps us to see after our simulation see the type of forces or see the type of displacement uh, in the surfaces and the various materials that we have choose and it will help us to see in a case of motion in the case of assembly where you have movable parts we we'll see a different type of motion carry out simulation to see how our models function before going in for proper realization so here we have a word document when we look in the we will see uh, design genius will see the, the 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 name of our assembly the date of creation sunday november 18 2018 designer's name and we have the content which shows us the various part of the word document and the material properties of the different types of materials that were taken into consideration during these studies there you are sweet thank you for watching and we call on you to stay tuned to our youtube channel for more videos on solidworks